Alright everyone, what's up? It's Fana, and it's time for another Heroes of the Storm video. This time we got Zeratul, the melee assassin. Dark Prelate. Backstory is the enigmatic Dark Templar Zeratul serves the Zel Naga while he expertly wields the power of the void. The Shut up, I'm speaking, motherfucker. It is his wisdom that earns him the respect of the Corprulu Sector's leaders despite his penchant for dramatic entrances. The basic abilities here, we've got cleave, damage nearby enemies in a circle around them. Singularity, spike, slow and damage the first enemy hit. We've got blink, teleport to a location, ability does not break clothing. We've got permanent cloak, become invisible while not attacking or taking damage, uh, which is the combat trait right there. And we've got heroic abilities, we've got the void prism. Trap all targets, making them become invulnerable. And also they can't do anything whilst in that prism. Uh, Shadow Assault, basic attack, charge enemies, have life steal, and attack fast. Boosting that DPS of Zeratul. Alright, looks like we're going to be spawning into the Haunted Mines. Uh, look, venture underground. The Haunted Mines will periodically open with an undead army underneath. Oh my god, it's almost loaded. Collect the skulls, destroy the undead, and collect the skulls to power your golems. And then once you've uh, once all the skulls have been collected, then the golem will spawn. Both teams get a golem. It's just whoever gets the most skulls gets the most powerful one. It's me, Zeratul, here on a lizard. Get got ready a... for combat, hero. Who the hell is that? He's got a weird ass skin. That's Shen, right? Yeah. So Chen on the weird ass skin. We got Kerrigan on the pony. We got Valor and Malfurion. Who have they got? Arthur, Zavala, and Uberek, Tychus, and Sonya. Uh, Alright, the talents here, we've got Block, periodically reduces incoming basic attacks, Greater Cleave increases radius of cleave, Rapid Displacement reduces cooldown of Blink, Regeneration Master, Gather Regeneration Globes to increase health regeneration, and Seasoned Marksman, kill enemies to gain basic attack damage. I found that Cleave's pretty good, you can go for Seasoned Marksman for that um, 1v1 potential better in 1v1 scenarios, but Cleave just seems to turn out better. It's better in team fights. it's better for clearing waves, and there's some really good Cleave talents later on as well if you want to go down that AoE route. Oh! So we've got some quick action here. I need to be careful. Oh god, I missed the wall! I survived, but I need to go back. Shit's going down, man. Oh, she's a bit crazy. Alright, this is going to be a high action game by the looks of it. Zeratul is a guy who needs to be in the action all the time, always need to be looking for those kills. I like playing him a lot. He's kind of similar to Vala, except he's melee, and uh, obviously he can cloak as well, but uh, kind of similar style. Well, Vala can lane a bit better, actually. See if we can get this guy down. First kill to Zeratul! See if we can get this guy down as well. That would be sick. I'm getting a bit greedy though. I'm getting a bit greedy. Yeah, fuck that. We got the lead, no need to be too greedy. You see that rhyme? That was sick. Let's see if there's any action down here for me. Uh, I might go steal the tower as well. Oh, oh, this guy might be getting a bit greedy. I might go on him. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I missed the bomb. They are very tanky heroes, but... I guess they got Valor as well. Who else is down here? A new Barak. Yeah, they got a very tanky team. They're usually the hardest to deal with as well. Always struggle against tanky teams. Hard to get through them. Did I pick another talent? We I don't think I did. Hesitate. Um, I so I might go on this Sonya here before the mines open. There she is. Oh my god! I missed another bomb. That was awful. And now I'm low HP for the mines, this is not good. Uh, might go in the bottom here, looks like our dude's already down there, so it does. Shit's gonna go down, man. Cloaking up. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god, missed the bomb again! So I haven't missed this many bombs before. Uh, I'm gonna go, well, I got the heal of Malfury in there. We have the next talent here, focus attack, periodically empower basic attacks, vampiric assault, basic attack heals you. Oh, let's see if I can hit the bomb on this guy. Nope. Wow. Seriously, I've never missed this many bombs. I don't think I've missed any before. Um, gathering power increases ability power. Um, I haven't read into that one too much actually. Sustained anomaly deals area and slow damage on singularity bomb. I just call it a bomb. 
And Vorpal Blade, teleport, teleport the last target enemy. It just comes up as a skill. Um, I think I'm going to go for the Focus Attack to increase my damage here. Get people down a bit faster. And, uh, I'll keep my mana nice and high as well, so I don't have to invest into that. There we go. Nice little win for us at the start there. We should take this yeah, we should go for the, the bruises. Always good to line up the golem push with either the bruises or the siege camp. Obviously the bruise is the better one, but it's a bit riskier since it's in the middle. And they know, yeah, they know. Alright, let's just go for our siege camp. Oh, that's not good. They got the bruises. And the, uh... And the, uh... Hilda. Let's see if I can get this guy. He doesn't really like to die, though. Tanky dude, he's got really good escape mechanisms. Wow, they got some really good pushing going on right now. We had a nice lead up until that point. Ow. Now, this is what I'm talking about, the cleave that I hit every single minion. Helps a lot with pushing the lanes out, even though I am meant to be a guy who goes around and kills people. It's nice to have that. Utility. Uh, who else have we got up here? Someone's up here. Pretty sure it was Arthas. Running around. Get rid of this golem, man. No one that around. Alright, we've got the next talent here. Level 7 talent. Follow through. Using an ability and powers next basic attack. Rending cleave. Cleave deals additional damage over time. Shadow Spike, no D, cloak, and increase range on Singularity Spike. First Aid, activate to heal over time. Searing attacks. So, a couple of choices here that are pretty good. Um, again, I do like to buff up my Cleave. I think it's one of the great ways to go, but Searing attacks is also a great choice as well. Basically, this is a choice. Do you want a good team fight with a Cleave, or do you want Searing attacks for the 1v1? Since I took the earlier Cleave talent, I'm going to go for that. And just build up as an AoE Zeratul here. Steal this watchtower whilst I'm over here on them in this. Looks like they're fine down there anyway. Probably gonna mess around with this Anubarak as well, just so I can get the lane experience. Probably not gonna get the kill on him, unless he messes up like that. Yeah, he shouldn't go down. He can't do that much damage. Even though I do do a lot. Give me that, uh, give me that health, man. Oh shit, I missed it. I missed it, man. So because I buff cleave, I'm not that bad in a lane. Like, me getting stuck up here isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not ideal. I'd rather be going around killing people. But it's not horrible either. Let's see if we can get this guy. There we go, got the bomb on him. But he can just get out of there with that. Should be the mines coming up soon. I don't know what Valo is doing down there then. Oh, he's just trying to escape. Let's see if I can go help these guys out. Might be able to get some kills here as well. I'm looking at you, Vala. Sonya's come in, baby. Come in here. Come in here. Alright, me and Shen, we're gonna do this. Gonna go on that Vala. Yeah, Rick! I see you, Sonya. I'm, you're mine, baby. I'll take that one as well. Oh, I'm getting hurt a bit. Save me. Alright, I gotta go back and get some healing. So for their heroic ability, I always thought Void Prison would be really powerful. Like, you can lock people out of the battle, you can save your teammates, it's got a lot of utility. But it doesn't seem that strong, but at the same time, neither does Shadow Assault. But I think, um, I think Void Prison will probably come in useful at some point. It's just, it sounds amazing, right? You could potentially lock out three enemies from the battle once you kill the other two, and that means you just win. But I, it never seems to happen like that, so we'll see. And I played Zeratul quite a bit so far. Oh yeah, hit that bomb. Give me a bitch. Alright, I need to get out. There's quite a few people there. Alright, Shen, we need a buddy. Alright, we got Vala. This is working out pretty well. Got the bomb on him. Oh, he looks hilarious with that skin in Thor mode. I think we should just go get the big dude at this point. 
Ow, what was that? Something knocked me off my horse. Come on, boys. Really? Alright, I can get behind that. I'll finish off this dude for you. <laughs> the bomb misses, man. Mount up. I'm gonna hit the bomb this time, for sure, okay? Not gonna miss it. There we go. There's the Void Prison. That actually helped me out quite a bit there, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get that Tychus. I, uh, I don't know if we can get and this though, we're all pretty low HP and mana. I'm not feeling good anyway. Hopefully Malfurion can heal me up. But if they all come down on full HP, we're not going to be in a good place, I don't think. We'll see though, we'll see. Get that heal from the, uh, the golem though. We're not very tanky at all, are we? We do have Chen, I guess. Alright, that worked out perfectly. A 92 skull golem. And we might get the bruiser camp as well. We need to get into the middle there. To protect these dudes. The ship's gonna about to go down. Yep. Ah, uh, they better not seal that camp. See if I can get this dude. Yeah, they're gonna steal the camp. Not ideal. No, they're not gonna steal the camp. I'm gonna get in there. They're not having it. It's all mine. Get off my camp, bitch! Got the bomb on him there. Sick. Wrecked. Zeratul, baby. I love this guy. It's so much fun. I love these characters where you got lots of mobility and a lot of damage as well. And a lot of it comes down to positioning. It's so much... It's loads of fun, man. Because everything is so fragile, but you can do a lot of damage at the same time. You gotta be so careful with what you do. You can just blow people up. It's amazing. Um, next time, the giant killer empowers your basic attacks against heroes. 1.5% extra damage. Really good against the big HP heroes, so... Against this lineup it might not be too bad. In fact, yeah, I might go with that. Burning Rage, basically immolation, deal damage around yourself. Wormhole can return to blink location. Good for if you're having trouble surviving. Assassin's Blade, uh, really good for increasing damage in, in the normal sense. And Spell Shield, obviously really good for surviving as well. Reduces incoming ability damage. So let's go. I'm going to go for Giant Killer, just because everything is so high HP in this game. It's like our Golem is going hard, man. There's no way he's gonna stop. Let's keep pushing with him. I'll join you. Let's see if we can get some more kills here. If they chase us down, we're definitely gonna get kills. Oh man. I hit the go oh, there, yeah, the ghoul. Just as they spawn. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Oh that's a risky bro. So just lock a couple of those out whilst we take down that Sonya. That's the really good use of Void Prism there. Definitely a lot better than Shadow Assault. Oh, oh the cleave just missed. It just missed, man. Untouchable, baby. That's my name. Say it. Next we've got Executioner. We're leveling up so fast. Executioner. Deal extra damage to the... Disabled target, Void Slash deals more damage while cloaked. Double bombs, can cast Singularity Spike twice. Stone Skill activates to gain Shield and Berserk, activate to increase attack speed and movement speed. A lot of choices here, I feel like there's a lot of ways you can build this guy and it just depends how the game is going. Um, cleave deals 30% extra damage, double bombs is insane as well. That's double slows. That's gonna go down so quickly. Oh. I'm gonna go for the Void Slash. Just because it's about to get some AoE right here. And just kill them all. That was all the Void Slash, man. Loving it. Getting wrecked. 20 kills. 20 to 0. Damn, son. Probably the best Zeratul in Australia. Can't be far off, at least. Just push this down. Should be easy. This 
game's in the bag, really. We could go down to the mines again, I think. That would be the safe thing to do. We could also probably just push in and try and finish. There's a void prison. Look at that shit. Like, we just kill the other people as they're in there. So good. It's working out a lot better for me this game than it has in the past. I mean, oh, 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 no, 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 no. It's over, the killing spree. But like I was saying at, at the start of the game, I never really got good void prison scenarios before. Those scenarios I just got are ones that I've been looking for. That's the theory behind it. You just lock a couple of people out of the battle and kill the rest. And in theory, it should be really strong. Because they can't attack, they can't be attacked, they can't do anything. Really strong ability if you can get it off properly. I mean, if you get two people locked out of the battle, that's just insane. It's also easy to mess it up and screw up your teammates as well. It's really good on a map like this where it's a bit more wide open. But uh, if it's just like choky points, that may sound good for it, but you kind of just cut off your teammates as well, so you could be more careful with it. Uh, definitely, definitely, I think it's definitely the more powerful ultimate. You go for Shadow Assault if you just want to chase people down in 1v1 situation. But I do like the way of building them up with this cleave here. There's definitely a few questionable talents that I wasn't sure on. Oh shit, they're, they're gonna come down here and die. BAM! Sliced in the back! Yeah, you're done as well, kid. Look at that. He's got really high auto attack damage, actually. Something I should have mentioned. His abilities are strong, but most of his damage is auto attack, I think. Eh, well, he'll be able to still do this amount of damage. Let's check how much damage his cleave does. 381. That's about the same as my auto attack. Well, a bit more, but. Oh, this is not all the time. Well, 100 skull golem, I'll take that. Not too good at all. Stay in base. <laughs> this guy wants to BM. Are we gonna BM with him? Oh, Cleve's done a lot of damage now. He's right. Here comes the golem. Boom. Boom. Let's check him out. Look at that badass. He's taking his time. He should kill that thing a bit faster, I reckon. Lazy bugger. No shit, mate. No shit. Can you say that again? I didn't see the 100 to 0 counter. As was the Alright. I don't even know why I'm killing this man. It doesn't matter what we do at this point, there's no focus to the game anymore. Guess I can try and get another kill. Shame I got a death, that was unnecessary as well. Could have been a zero death game. GG! Hope that gave you a good taste of Zeratul there. Loving this hero. I think this guy... Valor and Arthas are my favorite. And here is the storm so far. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace. Come on, Hunger. Basically, you want to spam it as much as you can. It gives you mana back. It gives you more damage as well. No reason not to. I'm going to sit up here for a bit. I think we can get another kill if these guys come out a bit too far. Or uh, Sonya's going to come with me to get Uther.